Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags and today you're getting our first impressions of the brand new As I Lay Dying album, Shaped by Fire. Brand new As I Lay Dying dropping today. Awesome stuff. We are hyped to listen to this album. We did a poll. This one beat out The Agonist, Orphan, unfortunately. But we're excited nonetheless. Yeah, we Didn't checked out drop three singles. Yeah, yep. I believe three. Yeah, we reacted to two of the videos. They were both good, but not great. The third song, though, I think it's called Blinded. Wow, that one was hype. Oh, yeah. We didn't do a reaction to it, though, unfortunately. We should have. But anyways, yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to this, but I'm I'm reserving my a lot of my hype because I don't know. You never I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to be disappointed. It could blow your mind. It could be a dud. Like, you never yeah. know. I checked out a little bit more of the discography today just to warm myself up to it. I listened to Awakening, or Awakened. Uh, loved that. And Ocean Between Us, which was pretty good. And I forgot the name of it, but it was their first album, and I thought that was okay. So I feel like... Collapse. I think, I think so, good. yeah. So if it's going to go by, you know, how they've ramped up, plus the singles being pretty good, I think this album's going to be pretty good. But we'll only know once we listen to it. So we're gonna listen to Shaped by Fire for the very first time in its entirety. And we're gonna be right back to give you guys our first impressions. So stay tuned. And we're back and we just listened to Shaped by Fire for the first time in its entirety. And I'm gonna say that this album slays from beginning to end, but it is plagued by one huge issue and that is monotony. Everything sounds the same. It is so similar in its formula. Every song just is the same. I mean, there's different things here and there, but it all falls into the same basic structure. TV Fish complained about it a lot. I tried to kind of ease it off of him a little bit, like <laughs> give some forgiveness here and there. I mean, there's a lot that sets each song apart. Let's say that. Yeah. But when it comes to the basic principles of each song, the basic formula and structure of each song, they just go by the book. And they've always done that, and it's at the point where you just sit there and you roll your eyes because you know exactly what is coming next. And it's kind of a genre thing. Like, you listen to metalcore nowadays, and it when does it really surprise you anymore? That being yeah. said, I'm not, like, I don't think this album's bad. It has a lot of cool stuff. And one thing I will say that is a huge plus in this album, whoever this engineer is, this sound engineer, give that guy a fucking bonus. Yeah. Holy shit, the mixing on this album is so good. The it drums is. are so pronounced, that kick alone is awesome. And to yeah. add on that, the drummer does a great job on this album, I'll, I'll say that. Like, he... His and the feet, guitars. The drums and the guitars, honestly, MVPs yes. of this album. They both sound fantastic, amazing riffs, sick double kick usage, the syncopation's cool, like, they, they bring a lot of oomph to it, and I really like that. Well, that's exactly what I meant when I said this album slays from beginning to end. Yeah. Because that those elements are just constantly there and constantly delivering top quality. Like, I found myself writing a few times in my notes, awesome guitar tone, awesome guitar tone, and they would be different guitar tones. Mm -hmm. But I do, like, you know, you mentioned I was complaining about it. I found myself struggling to write notes on some songs, which doesn't normally happen. I kind of always have something to say about a song, but it got to the point where I'm like, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. As a, it was like, how do I tell these apart? But also keep in mind, we've only listened to it once. I think listening yeah. to an album like this one time is not gonna do it justice. You really no. have to listen to it enough. Soak it to, in. Exactly, soak it in and differentiate stuff. Okay, well, what was your top rated song? It was a tie between Shaped by Fire, Gatekeeper, and Redefine. Three-way tie. Okay, it's a so three-way tie. Talk about Gatekeeper, because I got some stuff to say about Gatekeeper as well. Um, Gatekeeper, it was a funny thing that happened. There's a point where there's like the syncopated rhythm going on. I think it was during uh, the, maybe, I don't know if it was during the chorus or not, but it sounds a lot like Bleed. Now it's not exactly the same as Bleed. Yeah. It's not a consistent thing, but the rhythm that they're playing is very similar with a um, little like three over four with 30 second notes on the 16th notes. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's a similar thing to what they do in Bleed. So I thought that was a little funny thing. And I thought it was cool that they had that in there as well. Yep. They don't do anything like that specifically on the rest of the album, which is neat. And it hits heavy, like it really just gets in there. And uh, the solo is fucking sick. Yeah, that's a friggin' Jeff Hanneman style solo right yeah. there. I mean, probably the best solo on the album. Agreed. Because it's the only solo that sounds different than the rest of the solos. Yeah, very thrashy. All the solos are very good, but they're all kind of too short, very similar stylistically, but still got their technical 
aspect to them. They're it's, good. They're still good solos, but that one stands out among the rest. That song, for me as a whole, stood out. It's the most brutal song on the album, I found. It's the deepest song as far as um, its tone. And there's no clean vocals. The clean vocals are something that has always been a bit of a, a, bit of a sore spot for me for this band. I don't mind them, but I just really don't prefer them. But that song doesn't have any. And the double bass is just deadly on this song. Like, I feel like I'm getting my throat slit listening to it. Um, the D beats, just everything about it is just, it just screams brutal to me. And that's why it stands out. It's one of my highest rated songs as well. It's a rad song. Now, Redefined, I really liked how it kind of started with a breakdown. Like, the structure was slightly different, so that felt like a breath of fresh air for me. Yeah. And I also really liked how there was some vocal layering in the chorus, because usually you just have the cleans in the choruses, unless it's a song that doesn't have any cleans at all. Like, usually your choruses are going to be all cleans, but they had both on top of each other. Like, harsh and clean for the choruses, and I really liked that. Because it just gave it more dimension, and it stood out yeah. among the rest of the track. Yeah, I felt like that song stood out um, to me because it had a slightly faster tempo than other songs. Like, it's just sometimes it's these subtle little things that... I could be even wrong. Just, you know, when you listen to something for the first time, you get kind of an impression, which is why we're doing the first impressions. Yeah. And um, I'm going to listen to it again and maybe go, why would I? Why did I think that the first time I heard it? That happens all the time. Yeah, like, but, we've only heard it once, and yeah. it's been, a, like, you know... We heard it, and then we heard other songs, so like our perception of it might be different than yeah. we heard it once. But from what I remember from that song, it had a, just a slightly faster tempo than pretty much everything else that came before it. And that kind of made it stand out a little bit. Yeah. Now, Shaped by Fire, um, that was like the first song where I started writing notes about the guitar tone. Because it was really relevant in that song, how just mean and angrier it sounded. Yeah. A lot, a lot like... I don't want to say flat in terms of the musical sense, but flat as in uh, dry. I think that's a better way of putting it. The guitar sounded a lot more dry, but in a good way. You know? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, I don't... maybe, maybe I'm not really getting the right words out, but it was a very, um, I don't know, very raw kind of guitar sound. Where, as opposed to other ones, there's some reverb in there, there's some whatever. This one is just really straightforward, like yeah. to the point kind of guitar sound, and it's really raw and like aggressive that way. I felt like that song was probably one of the most typical songs as far as this band goes. Like when you think of Azalea Dine, you think of this exact style of song. It's enjoyable, but very basic. That's I like, how I found. I like the chorus of that one. Like that that chorus, I'm like, yeah, I can, I can fuck with if this. If you like the chorus of that song, then you probably like the chorus of every song because they all sounded the fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were okay. interchangeable. <laughs> that that was track number three. Track number one was an intro track, which to talk about that, Burn to Emerge, it wasn't it was the build up to blinded. It was just the build up to blinded. Like it doesn't really need to be there. You might as well just make it's that part right. of blinded. I you know what? Intro tracks like that I don't mind because if you really don't like it, you can skip it. Or delete it off your playlist or whatever. Yeah. Not a big deal. But if you want that kind of epic build up to like blinded, which blinded is probably the second heaviest song on the album. It's actually my, one of my highest rated songs as well. Um, but if you want that long, epic kind of energy build up, you leave that on there. If you don't really care for it, you skip it. Like I enjoyed that, you know, the, the kind of song was fading into itself, Yeah. which was neat. But like, just given what I know, you know, all the intro, we've heard many intro tracks when we review albums on this channel. Yeah. And this one isn't really that great compared to a lot of other intro tracks we've heard. So that's kind of my frame of reference on intro tracks. Like, okay, does this do its purpose better than a really good one would do its purpose, you know? Yeah, I thought this one did its purpose just fine. It's not like, it's not long, it's like a minute. It's literally, it's like 52 seconds. Yeah, so it's all, it's all right for me. I guess, you know, it won't be that big of a deal because it's so short, Yeah. you know, it won't, it won't, I don't know. It's just not the best intro I've heard. Yeah, anyways, guys, we got a lot of stuff that we do like about this album, but there's a lot of things that we're kind of like, having reserved feelings for we're not quite sure if we like it if we should shit on it we don't want to yeah, offend anybody but the bottom line is we're gonna listen to this album as much as we can throughout the entire week and we'll be back next week and next week we won't be afraid to shit on it if that's how we feel and that's what we're gonna do listen to it review it but we'll be back next week so make sure you guys like this video subscribe if you guys are new to the channel leave your thoughts below in the comments and let us know what you guys think of shape by fire i'm vile self i'm tv fish i'll see you guys on the next one later